Good morning and welcome to Morning Prayer with Christ Episcopal Church in Ponte Vedra Beach, Florida. I'm Megan Ryan. I'm in my very chilly basement, so I'm a little bundled up this morning. All right. Morning Prayer begins on page 79 of the Book of Common Prayer. Let's begin. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry, and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness. and By the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Let us say together the Pascha Nostrum, found on page 83. Alleluia! Christ our Passover has been sacrificed for us. Therefore let us keep the feast, not with the old leaven, the leaven of malice and evil, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Alleluia! Christ being raised from the dead will never die again. Death no longer has dominion over him. The death that he died, he died to sin once for all. But the life he lives, he lives to God. So also consider yourselves dead to sin and alive to God in Jesus Christ our Lord. Alleluia. Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since by a man came death, by a man has come also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, so also in Christ shall all be made alive. Alleluia. Our psalm this morning is a portion of Psalm 105, part 1, which can be found on page 738 of the Book of Common Prayer. Give thanks to the Lord and call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the peoples. Sing to him, sing praises to him, and speak of all his marvelous works. Glory in his holy name. Let the hearts of those who seek the Lord rejoice. Search for the Lord and his strength. Continually seek his face. Remember the marvels he has done, his wonders and the judgments of his mouth. O offspring of Abraham, his servant, O children of Jacob, his chosen. He is the Lord our God. His judgments prevail in all the world. He has always been mindful of his covenant the promise he made for a thousand generations, the covenant he made with Abraham, the oath that he swore to Isaac, which he established as a statue for Jacob, an everlasting covenant for Israel, saying, To you will I give the land of Canaan to be your allotted inheritance. When they were few in number, of little account, and sojourners in the land, wandering from nation to nation, and from one kingdom to another, he let no one oppress them, and rebuked kings for their sake, saying, Do not touch my anointed, and do my prophets no harm. Then he called for a famine in the land, and destroyed the supply of bread. He sent a man before them, Joseph, who was sold as a slave. They bruised his feet in fetters, his neck they put in an iron collar until his prediction came to pass. The word of the Lord tested him. The king sent and released him. The ruler of the people set him free. He set him as a master over his household, as a ruler over all his possessions, to instruct his princes according to his will, and to teach his elders wisdom. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. 
A reading from the gospel according to, uh, sorry, listeners. Yeah. Ah, okay. <laughs> Children are upstairs. Never know when you're going to hear the, the mommy word. A reading from the gospel according to Matthew. And after getting into a boat, he crossed the sea and came to his own town. And just then, some people were carrying a paralyzed man lying on a bed. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, Take heart, son, your sins are forgiven. Then some of the scribes said to themselves, This man is blaspheming. But Jesus, perceiving their thoughts, said, Why do you think evil in your hearts? For which is easier to say your sins are forgiven, or to say stand up and walk? But so that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins, he then said to the paralytic, Stand up, take your bed, and go to your home. And he stood up and went to his home. When the crowd saw it, they were filled with awe, and they glorified God, who had given such authority to human beings. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. All right. Let us read together Canticle number two, a song of praise. Blessed art thou, O Lord, God of our fathers, praised and exalted above all forever. Blessed art thou for the name of thy majesty, praised and exalted above all forever. Blessed art thou in the temple of thy holiness, praised and exalted above all forever. Blessed art thou that beholdest the depths and dwellest between the cherubim, praised and exalted above all forever. Blessed art thou on the glorious throne of thy kingdom, praised and exalted above all forever. Blessed art thou in the firmament of heaven, praised and exalted above all forever. Blessed art thou, O Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, praised and exalted above all forever. Let us say together the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. We continue with the prayers found on page 97. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Please join me in saying together, Suffrages B. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy, for we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope, and we shall never hope in vain. O God, the King of glory, you have exalted your Son, Jesus Christ, with great triumph to the kingdom in heaven. Do not leave us comfortless but send us your Holy Spirit to strengthen us and exalt us to that place where our Savior Christ has gone before, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, in glory everlasting. Amen. 
and now invite your own prayers of petition or thanksgiving, either silently or aloud. I'll leave a moment of silence, but please feel free to pause the video and lift your prayers up to heaven. Take as much time as you need. Let us close by saying together the prayer for St. Chrysostom, found on page 102. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Glory to God whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. Thank you for joining us, and we hope to see you Sunday. It is Pentecost, so don't forget to wear red. See you Sunday.